Hey everyone, Phantom Traveler 87 here with another video where I'm going to start doing my book narrations of my favorite children's stories back to when I was a youngin and well, these books such as this one had helped me through some very depressing times in my life. So to start us off, I'm going to read A Light in the Attic, Poems and Drawings by Shel Silverstein. A Light in the Attic There is a light on in the attic, though the house is dark and shuttered. I can see a flickering flutter, and I know what it's about. There's a light on in the attic. I can see it from the outside. And I know you're on the inside, looking out. How many, how much? How many slams in an old screen door depends on how loud you shut it. How many slices in a bread depends on how thin you cut it. How much good inside a day depends how good you live them. How much love inside a friend depends on how much you give them. Moon Catching Net I've made me a moon catching net and I'm going hunting tonight. I'll run along swinging it over my head and grab it for that big ball of light. So tomorrow just look at the sky and if there's no moon you can bet. I found what I sought and I finally caught the moon in my moon catching net. But if the moon, the moon's still shining there, look close underneath and you'll get a clear look at me in the sky swinging free with a star in my moon catching net. Hammock Grandma sent the hammock, the good Lord sent the breeze. I'm here to do the swinging. Now who's going to move the trees? How not to have to dry the dishes. If you have to dry the dishes, such an awful boring chore. If you have to dry the dishes, instead of going to the store. If you have to dry the dishes and you drop one on the floor, maybe they won't let you dry the dishes anymore. Stop, thief! Policeman, policeman, help me please. Someone went and stole my knees. I chased them down, but I suspect my legs and feet just won't connect. The sitter. Now this one is one of my, this is, this is one of my favorites. <clears throat> Mrs. McTwitter, the babysitter, I think she's a little bit crazy. She thinks a babysitter's supposed to sit upon the baby. Prayer of the Selfish Child Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, I pray the Lord my toys to break. So none of the other kids can use them. Amen. What did? What did the carrots say to the wheat? Let us rest. I'm feeling beat. What did the paper say to the pen? I feel quite all right, my friend. What did the teapot say to the chalk? Nothing, you silly. Teapots can't talk. Shaken. Geraldine, now stop shaking that cow. For heaven's sake, for your sake and the cow's sake. That's the dumbest way I've seen to make a milkshake. Signals. When the light is green, you go. When the light is red, you stop. But what do you do when the light turns blue with orange and lavender spots? Picture puzzle piece. One picture puzzle piece lying on the sidewalk. One picture puzzle piece soaking in the rain. It might be a button of blue on the coat of the woman who lived in a shoe. It might be a magical bean or a fold in the red velvet robe, 
robe of a queen. It might be the little, wait, <clears throat> sorry. It might be the one little bite of the apple her stepmother gave to Snow White. It might be the veil of a bride or a bottle with some evil genie inside. It might be the, might be a small tuft of hair on the bouncy, on the big bouncy belly of, Bo, of Bobo the bear. It might be a bit of the cloak of the Wicked Witch of the West as she melted to smoke. It might be a shadowy, shadowy trace of a tear that runs down an angel's face. Nothing has more possibilities than one old wet picture puzzle piece. Yeah. Put something in. Draw a crazy picture, write a nutty poem, sing a mumble, grumble, sing a mumble, gumble song, whistle through your comb, do a loony goony dance, cross the kitchen floor, put some silly, put something silly in the world that ain't, that ain't been there before. <clears throat> Sorry guys, there's some tongue twisters in this book. <clears throat> Monsters I've met. I've, I met a ghost, but he didn't want my head. He only wanted to know the way to Denver. I met a devil, but he didn't want my soul. He only wanted to borrow my bike a while. I met a vampire, but he didn't want my blood. He only wanted two nickels for a dime. I keep meeting all the right people at all the wrong times. Ah, another one of my favorites. Rock and roll band. If we were a rock and roll band, we'd travel all over the land. We'd play and we'd sing and we're spangly things if we were a rock and roll band if we were a rock and roll band and were up there on the stand the people would hear us and love us and cheer us hooray for that rock and roll band if we were a rock and roll band then we'd have a million fans we'd giggle and laugh and sign autographs if we were a rock and roll band if we were a rock and roll band the people would all kiss our hands We'd be millionaires and have extra long hair if we were a rock and roll band. But we ain't no rock and roll band. We're just seven kids in the sand with homemade guitars and pails and jars and drums of potato chip cans. Just seven kids in the sand talking and waving our hands and dreaming and thinking, oh, wouldn't it be grand if we were a rock and roll band? Something missing. I remember I put on my socks. I remember I put on my shoes. I remember I put on my tie that was painted in beautiful purples and blues. I remember I put on my coat to look perfectly grand at the dance. Yet I feel there is something I may have forgot. What is it? What is it? I apologize for that one, folks. <clears throat> Probably just pretend you didn't see that. <clears throat> Memorizing Mo. Mo memorized the dictionary, but just can't seem to find a job. Or anyone who wants to marry someone who memorized the dictionary. Oh, poor Mo. Somebody has to. Somebody has to go polish the stars. They're looking a little bit dull. Somebody has to go polish the stars for the eagles and starlings and gulls have all been complaining they're tarnished and worn. They say they want new ones we cannot afford. So please get your rags and your polishing jars. Somebody has to go polish the stars. Reflection each time I see the upside-down man standing in the water, I look at him and start to laugh, although I shouldn't otter. For maybe in another world, another time, another town, maybe he's... Maybe he is right side up, and I'm upside down. Fancy Dive The fanciest dive that that was ever dove was done by Melissa of Coconut Grove. She bounced on the board and flew into the air with a twist of her head and a twirl of her hair. She did 34 jackknives, backflipped, and spung, quadruple 
gandered and reached for the sun, and then somersaulted nine times in a quarter, and looked down, and looked down and saw that the pool had no water. Oh boy, she's gonna end up looking like a princel. Oh boy. Here comes, here comes summer, here comes summer, tripping robin, budding rose. Here comes summer, here comes summer, gentle showers, summer clothes. Here comes summer, here comes summer, whoosh, shiver, there it goes. Tell me about it. The Dragon of Grindley Grun. I am the Dragon of Grindley Grun. I breathe fire as hot as the sun. When a knight comes to fight, I just toast him on sight, like a hot, crispy cinnamon bun. When I see a fair damsel go by, I just sigh a fiery sigh. And she's baked like a tater, I think of her later, with a romantic tear in my eye. I am the dragon of Grindley Grun, but my lunches aren't very much fun. For I like my damsels medium rare, and they always come out well done. blame. I wrote such a beautiful book for you, about rainbows and sunshine and dreams that come true, but the goat went and ate it. You knew he would. So I wrote you another one, fast as I could. Of course, it could never be nearly as great as that beautiful book that the silly goat ate. So if you don't like this new book I just wrote, blame the goat. Messy room. Whose ever room this is should be ashamed. His underwear is hanging on the lamp. His raincoat is there in the overstuffed chair, and the chair is becoming quite mucky and damp. His workbook is wedged in the window. His sweater's been thrown on the floor. His scarf and one ski are beneath the TV, and his pants have been carelessly hung on the door. His books are all jammed in the closet. His vest has all been left in the hall. A lizard named Ed is asleep in his bed. And his smelly old sock has been stuck to the wall. Whosever rooms this is should be ashamed. Donald or, or Robert or Willie or... Huh? You say it's mine? Oh dear. I knew it looked familiar. Never. I've never roped a... Brahm... Brahma bull. I've never fought a duel. I've never crossed the desert... On a lopped-eared, sway-back mule, I've never climbed an idol's nose to steal a cursed, cursed jewel. I've never gone down with my ship in the bubbling brine. I've never saved a lion's life and then had him save mine. Or screamed, ah while swinging through the jungle on a vine. I've never dealt draw poker in a rowdy lumber camp or got caught up at the count of nine to beat the world's champ. I've never had my picture on a six cents postage stamp. I've never scored a touchdown on a 99 yard run. I've never winged six Daltons with my dying brother's gun or kissed Miss Jane and rode my hoss in the settling sun. Sometimes I get so depressed about what I haven't done. Day after Halloween. Skeleton spirits and haunts. Skeleton spirits and haunts. It's a Halloween sale, a nickel a pail for skeletons, spirits, and haunts. Skeleton spirits and haunts more than most anyone wants. Will you pay for a shock? Because we're quite overstocked on skeleton spirits and haunts. I absolutely love. I absolutely love the detail on this drawing. I'm a fan of this guy's illustrations. Wavy hair. I thought I, I thought that I had wavy hair until I shaved instead. I find that I have straight hair and a very wavy head. <clears throat> Moving on. Long mobile. It's the world's longest car, I swear. It reaches from Beale Street to Washington Square, and once you get in it to know where you're going, you simply get out because you you're there. Huh. Backward Bill. Backward Bill, Backward Bill. He lives way up on Backward Hill, which is really a hole in the sandy ground. But that's a hill turned upside down. 
Backwards Bills. Backward Bills got a backyard backward shack <clears throat> with a big front porch that's built out back. You walk through the window and look out the door, and the cellar is up on the very top floor. Backward Bill, he rides like the wind, don't know where he's going, but he sees where he's been. His spurs, they go neigh, and his horse, it goes clang, and his six-gun goes gam, but it never goes bang. Backward Bill's got a backward pup. They eat their supper when the sun comes up, and he's got a wife named Backward Lil. She's my own true hate, said Backward Bill. Backward Bill wears his hat on his toes and puts on his underwear over his clothes and comes every every payday and it, and comes and come every payday he pays his boss and rides off a, a smiling a carrying his hoss. Mr. Smeds and Mr. Spats. Mr. Spats had 20 hats and none of them were the same. And Mr. Spats had 21 heads and only one hat to his name. Now when Mr. Spats met Mr. Spats, they talked of the buying and selling of hats. And Mr. Spats bought Mr. Smeds' hat. Did you ever hear anything crazier than that? Snake problem. It's not that I don't care for snakes. Oh, what do you do when a 24-foot python says, I love you? Okay, I'm going to stop here tonight, folks. But I really hope that you did enjoy my reading of um, pretty much all the other poems that I've that I've covered tonight. And I hope that you'll stay tuned for the next video. Okay, so the next video is going to be about this poem, so page 47. So, um, please comment down below of which poem you liked best. Um, I will um, have a list of the poems that I did read tonight in the description below. And I guess just pick which poem that I've read that is your favorite so far. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye!